Hello, everybody. It's Mr. Gardner, principal at Auburn High School, just with an end of the third week of school video, just to give you a little bit of a rundown how things are going. School's going well. The kids are really doing a nice job with the routines. For the most part, they're getting to class on time. The hallways are a little less crowded because some of them have found that the side stairs, the east side and the west side, are serving for that purpose quite a bit. I want to give you a little reminder or just a quick slideshow here on some reminders that we're really impressing upon the students like at lunchtime and um, we make some you know morning announcements sometimes but we're just trying to really be repetitive with this because most of the things we're asking ourselves to do and students to do uh, they're, they're they're a little bit counterintuitive um, you know it's not often you come to school all day and you have to wear a mask but that's our reality right now and it's helping to keep us safe so I'm going to go ahead and move over to presentation mode. And give me a second. OK, so hopefully you can see the slide. Healthy reminders. This is something we showed the students um, on Monday or Tuesday at lunch. We'll probably do it ongoing. But we really want to impress upon students. You want to show up to school healthy. OK, you feeling good. You feeling healthy. We know people are tired in the morning, especially teenagers. We want to make sure we're healthy. Uh, when we're not feeling well, it's very important that we stay home or stay with a relative or stay where someone we can be safe. But it's really important because this virus is very catchy. If uh, the first line of defense is if anyone's not feeling well because they have the virus and they stay home, we have a 100% chance of not contracting it or transmitting it in our school. So that's like the first layer of defense. So if you're a student or if you're the student listening to this, if you're having, you know, kind of the abnormal cough, maybe you don't cough a lot. Maybe you do. Maybe you have allergies. You know, you would know by the time you're a teenager if it's something like that. If you have chills, that'd be a, a red flag. Fever, of course. Loss of taste. Loss of smell. Shortness of breath. Fatigue. Headache. Muscle body aches if you haven't really been doing anything physical. Sore throat could be another tip, congestion, nausea or vomiting or diarrhea. Those are all symptoms associated with the onset of COVID. We do know that sometimes people can get COVID, be asymptomatic. Well, they wouldn't know. But if you do have these, it's your body telling you that something isn't quite right. So I'm really going to ask parents to check in with your kids on a daily basis to make sure that they are. Had a lot of kids, a lot, meaning, you know, in the 20s or 30s, a uh, number of students that have shown up to our isolation room, telling their teachers they don't feel well, they go to the nurse's office, we get them in the isolation room, they get checked out. But what I heard from our school nurse today is a lot of the kids are telling us that they weren't feeling well when they came to school. So we really need people to stay home. You know, you definitely can call the school and ask the nurse um, if you have any questions about that or your own doctor or your own health clinic. But it's imperative if we're not feeling well that we don't come to school. All right. Stay masked except for at meals. Uh, staying masked, got a mask up, it helps us stay safe. It's another one of our layers of safety. And our kids, for the most part, are doing a really nice job. I wasn't in the building a week ago Friday. I was doing interviews for one of our open positions. And I heard, I heard our kids weren't doing so well. And I don't know if that just meant 10 more kids in the building weren't doing a great job or all of them. I've been in school this whole week. For the most part, the kids are doing great. Got a few kids I have to continually remind to put the, the mask over their nose. And you know what? When I ask them, they do it. We're not going to get kids in trouble. But listen, we have to have kids also feel safe. So I've also had students and teachers tell me that they're not feeling so safe when they see kids walking around or staff members walking around with with masks not covering their nose, okay? That's imperative. We have to cover up because these are droplets coming out of our bodies. It feels weird even saying that, but when you breathe out, there's moisture that comes out in the air. And if you do have COVID, if you're asymptomatic, or even if you're feeling some of these things, we could be infecting other people. So we got to stay covered up. We're going to be really tight on that. Do your best at social distancing. This is hard in a high school. Okay, because we have a big school, we have a big student body, we have a lot of staff members here, almost 2,000 people under one roof. We are a small town living under one roof all day long. We have a great ventilation system. We got hand sanitizers all, all over the place. We've got soap, we've got water, and we've got all kinds of ways to battle the virus. We do, as long as we're practicing that. 
It's really hard in a high school for high school kids to social distance. So we're continually reminding them, okay? They've been very respectful. They get it, they understand it. But that intuitiveness of a teenager is you wanna be by your friends. So that's something we're just, no, we're just gonna to have to continue to remind them on. And they've been very respectful. Be aware of your surroundings. I said to the kids at lunch earlier in the week, you guys are all grown um, teenagers. You're young adults. Part of this is taking care of yourselves, is seeing the surroundings around you. If you see someone with their mask off, if you don't know them and you're not comfortable telling them to put their mask up, just move to another area. Protect yourselves. That's something we're doing um, all the time as adults, making sure we're in a situation where we feel protected. This is a silent virus, okay? It's not going to warn you when it's coming up to, to, to let you know it's going to infect you. So you have to be aware of all the telltale signs around you. If you're in a crowded area, if you see people without masks on, which won't be the case at this school, but if it does happen, you need to get yourself out of that area. So we're asking students also to be very aware of their surroundings. Is it better to be outside? Yes, so we're encouraging kids to eat lunch outside, especially when the weather is warm. So we're trying to do our part. Also, the mindfulness on the prevention of COVID-19. This is something we don't wanna have on our brain all the time, yet it needs to be on our brain all the time. We don't want anybody being affected. We don't want anybody even being asymptomatic because we have no idea how many other people they could infect. That's me included. I have no idea how many people I could infect. And that would be, you know, a pretty tough place to be in if I'm affecting, infecting the elderly or those who have compromised health or body systems. Um, yeah, it's just something we don't want to do. So we continually have to be mindful. There is a virus out there. The virus is deadly. It's taken over 600,000 people in our country, their lives. And a lot of the frontline workers have really great proof for us. As long as you're doing the layers of safety, you got a really good chance of getting through this. And then you go home healthy every single day. That's really the goal here. That's really what we're trying to do. Okay, kind of switching topics here. You're getting this video on a Thursday. We're not quite at the end of the week. I just wanted to let parents and students know we have a big pink out tailgate. Okay, what is that? We have kind of a social party with our Mountain View um, high school rivals slash friends. We love the kids at Mountain View and the staff members. And every year we come together, we do a tailgate out in the north lot, just right by the football stadium before we go play the big game. And we're going to do it this year. We're going to ask people to show up that they're masked. I'm sure we're going to have to remind them to keep them on. Uh, but we're hoping that uh, we could have a big turnout there. We do lots of games, um, sell things, and basically all the proceeds go to fighting that terrible disease known as cancer. And uh, all proceeds go to the Bags of Hope. It's sponsored by all of our DECA clubs. I'm pretty sure it's a combined effort between the Auburn Mountain View School and Auburn High School, but this is something we feel like we can kind of semi-return to normalcy, have some fun with the kids, then go to the football game. And on that, um, we really need to make sure, because we're on the visitor side, this side, we got a smaller section, so it's going to be really tough to social distance. We're going to bring in some extra bleachers, probably out near the track or on the side. Uh, some folks are going to have to use those. We're going to do the best we can to three foot distance and it's mandatory. You have to wear a mask. So we're in this together. Let's continue to fight this thing best we can. And I think that's plenty of information for the end of week three. Next week for week four, which will be my last one for September, then I'm going to probably go once a month, maybe once every two weeks. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit more information on how things are going around the student body. Clubs are starting to pick up, and hopefully we can get some kids showing up for that. And then also, uh, we are going to have an extended day bus that starts on the week of September 27th, and that's really purchased um, by our district to help students that need to stay after school and get extra academic help. Uh, students who are in clubs that want to take that bus, they really need to be doing some academic pieces in their clubs. It's not an extracurricular bus. It's an extended day academic bus. There'll be two of them. One will take our students to one end of the district. One will take our students to the other end of the district, drop them off at major intersections or the school, elementary, middle school closest to their homes. They should be able to walk from there. And we've been doing this. This is year 
four for us out of the last five. We didn't get to do it last year, but it's it's been just a great service for us. It runs every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Doesn't leave school till 445, but it's a great service we have. So some things are kicking up. I'll give you a little bit more information next week. And anyway, I hope you can make the pink out tailgate. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening.